Oh, hey there you, you beautiful person. Meepo's been at it again. They came out with the V5, their newest entry-level board. Uh, it's perfect for commuting, anyone that's looking for something lightweight and easy to move, or beginners that need a good board to learn on. <laughs> but don't worry, this thing can still handle itself. With a great ride that's easy to learn. We went ahead and did something special for this episode, and I brought on my friend Joe, who's never been on an electric skateboard before. I figured, why just hear from me? If this is a great board for beginners, let's hear from someone who's completely new to it. And we put him through his paces. How was it? Uh, didn't take it easy, and it was a great time, so. Stay tuned for this full unboxing and review of the new Meepo V5. And just a shameless little plug here as we get going with the unboxing. Um, if you like this video, if you like the look of the V5, there's links in the description to save money on your own. Check it out. This is the easiest unboxing I've ever done, because I get someone else to do the work for me. But. Uh, it's a fair trade, because Joe gets that sweet unboxing experience. Right away, the handle just stands out and gives this board like a goofy but clean look. I didn't know how I was going to feel about the 90mm wheels, but... Oh dude, the wheels are on it. Actually really nice. Okay. The V5 has two different battery options, but both of them have a total board weight of less than 20 pounds. You can one hand that? <laughs> Dude. That's so convenient. <laughs> Super easy to move around, but the bottom of this board is just beautiful. The design on it is so cool, which is a shame because you'll never get to see it anyways too much. Once you put it down and it's out of the box, like that handle cutout is even more iconic. I don't know, I just love this, the aesthetic appeal of it. And then I thought this board would be like skinny or flimsy or tiny or something, I don't know, because it's an entry level board, but honestly it was full size, super competent construction. And I loved these wheels. They looked like something like a mini F1 race car tire. Uh, cooler than I expected. The battery is going to come in two sizes, 11 miles or 20 miles of range. The trucks are their fifth generation Shredder 45 degree truck. The enclosures are IPX5 waterproof. The board's charger and remote come in the box and Joe got it on That's his on. first try without any help. Yeah. If you're new to electric right. skateboarding, one of their best features is having brakes. Braking works? They help to keep you safe on hills from losing control. They mean you can guard your speed when you want to and help avoid obstacles. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I was like, what's this the mode button will change your speed mode between four levels with this board. And that controls how fast you accelerate and what your top speed is. That's actually really cool when it's... Oh my god, it looks chrome, dude. Each motor is 500 watts, which gives a 1000 watts max, which leads to a top speed of 28 miles per hour. That's super cool. Nice. That was all right, all right. <laughs> We're out here. Joe's first time. Right off the bat, Joe was on speed mode two, and we thought that would be a comfortable place right. to get him going. Uh, we're in a safe parking lot, giving us an easy place to learn with a ton of turns to learn on and practice. At first, it helped Joe to move his feet a little bit forward to get his weight on his toes. 
You don't necessarily have to have your feet centered on the board to have your weight centered. Find a place that makes turning heel side and toe side easy for you. He's already got a good stance. Uh, no, it's your first time. Oh. <laughs> well, great. And I think Meepo did a really good job of making the V5 easy to learn. Alright, nice. Dude, you are looking a lot more natural already though. Especially with the turns. After five minutes with the V5, Joe was already taking turns in a super confident way. Yeah, you stuck that one. And he was getting a little more comfortable with going fast. Nice. Ten minutes in, I felt like it was going so well, it was going too well. But before I get any crazy ideas, let's check in with the man himself. See how it's going. Alright. <laughs> yeah. Fuzzy. Yeah, my feet are fuzzy. <laughs> fuzzy? Uh, feel more comfortable on it now that you've had some laps? or? Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Perfect. The trap is set. Do you mind if I subject you to cruelty? <laughs> you want to try riding this board on this stuff? This stuff is no joke, <laughs> and he's doing it on 90 millimeter wheels, so... How was it? <laughs> a little rough. That's like your first off-roading though, right? That was the first time. Actually more possible than you might think? Yeah. Yeah. I was thinking of going to that crest. Do it. I'll see you on the other side. <laughs> I'm going over that crest too. Huh. <laughs> Famous last words. Oh, Icarus, you flew too close to the sun. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> How are you? Good. There we go. It didn't hurt. Yeah. Yep. Just it. There we go. Well. <laughs> I think oh I no. Some dirt. Oh. <laughs> well, we know what it can do. <laughs> I guess this is really soft. Yeah, no. And I didn't notice the mounts. I was like, I hope he's fine, but it's wet and. It looked, I just picked a bad spot. Yeah, you sink into things too when they're wet, so. Yeah. <laughs> alright, alright. <laughs> oh, probably. I think your wheel might have sunk too. It looked like you bashed right here, <laughs> and here it just sunk. So. Yeah. Dead. Uh, Death counter. Can't go through one. One. <laughs> no. <laughs> no extensive off-roading, except for just really, really like this is considerable. Man, though, riding through this stuff is like corrugated plastic and gravel. That's true. All right. Yeah. All right. All right. Play. So Joe had found his limits, but. It was still time to see what this board could do. So I got on to push it to its limit. The brakes are smooth and powerful. They'll bring you from top speed to zero in about 10 feet. The acceleration on Speedbone 4 is really zippy and as much as you'd want. And we have the basics out of the way and now it's time for Joe and I to go out on a ride and really see how this would do. Meepo's fifth generation shredder trucks do exactly what you want them to do. 
paired with the bushing system, it felt super stable at the top speed, but still carvy at lower speeds. Uh, great all the way through. The 90mm wheels weren't any problems on rougher roads, uh, it still felt safe, and they could take small to medium gravel with no problem. And the range was good enough to get us to some awesome views. As some final facts, uh, you'll find this board has IPX5 waterproofing, uh, so it's going to be splash resistant. It's great to make sure you don't get shocked from going through a puddle and lose your board. Uh, speaking of losing your board, Amiibo does offer a six month warranty, and they're probably the biggest Seascape company out there, so you know they're going to be able to support and service their products. Uh, overall in review, I think the top speed on this board for entry level is great. The battery range, depending on your model, is going to be pretty good. Uh, it's lightweight either way. I think this is going to be a great board for beginners, commuters, or somebody that wants something lightweight to move around easily. Um, is it going to be the board that does 50 mile runs? No. Um, is it going to do 40 miles per hour? No. but. If you are looking for a cool, supportable, entry-level board, you can consider the Meepo V5. And if you do, use code Redwood Boarding and all the information in the description to save yourself some money and help the channel out. Big thanks to Meepo for setting me this board for review.